Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives, Northeast Ohio Beekeeping. Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives. So today what I want to talk about, and I, I am not, so a disclaimer, right out of the gate, I am not an expert, okay? Um, but I do want to talk about uh, my integrated pest management, or you might hear IPM. Um, you know, if new beekeepers hear anyone say, oh, what's your IPM? You know, that is your pest management system. Now, when I was very first a beekeeper, I'll tell you, I was very laxed. I really didn't understand it and how that would affect my apiary. Now, I will say also, I have gone down the path where I treat my colonies for Varroa. Um, if you are a treatment-free beekeeper, I give kudos to you. I could not figure that out with you know my work and just the amount of time that I have here with my colonies. I could not set up a plan where if I was treatment-free, my colonies would live. So I went down the road of treating. Now, as far as what I do with treatments, um, very first, you know, let's just say right out of the gate, um, number one, do mite washes, okay? This is at least what I do in my apiary. And like I said, I am not an expert, okay? So this is just what I do right here at this location, okay? Um, mite washes. You want to understand really where your counts are. So if you have a colony that is just blasted, you know, and you have a mite count that is just astronomically high, that's more or less going to dictate what type of treatment you can use. Now, there are some very mild treatments, like I use Apivar strips, and I'll put a little picture. Um, I use Apivar strips uh, early in the year and then later in the year, and that's before I do all of my splits. And, you know, later in the year, it is after I've pulled my supers. Um, in between there, I will, you know, supplement with oxalic acid as needed. Now, this type of year right now, um, you know, it's we're in between flows. So I'm hitting my colonies with oxalic acid now. That way I get them set up for this next fall flow. You know, right now is very critical in that when you've taken most of your supers off, now I've left some on just for space. I have some very large colonies and I've left them on for space. Um, you want to set them up so that the mite counts are low. You know, as your populations go up, your mite counts will also go up. Now, after your summer solstice, when the queen starts tapering back, at, you know, from laying, the mites don't say, oh, it's the summer solstice, we need to taper back. So their counts will continue to rise. Well, that's where doing mite washes and selecting the proper treatments has worked for me. Now, last year, um, I ended up throughout the year, I had 11 colonies, I lost one in the winter. This year now, I'm sitting at 17 colonies. They're all fairly healthy. Um, I'm gonna do a wash here on one of them just to show you. I'll also link a video where the inspector was just over and we did some mite washes so you can really see, you know, how to do them. Um, but I'm going to get into one colony and then we're going to go through with my instant vape and I'll show you how easy it is to use that thing, man. I'm just so impressed with that tool. So, um, but let's crack a lid. Let's get into this colony over here. Um, this was a split that I did. So let's get into this colony um, and do a mite wash. And then let's just go on down and do some uh, treatment. So uh, let's crack some lids. Now this is, we have solid eggs larvae clear across. So this queen is really doing a great job. Now I wanna try and get to older larvae um, that's more close to being capped over because that will give me in this frame right here, excellent, excellent. This is it. Now also, you wanna make sure that 
you are not collecting your queen. When you do this, you're going to kill a certain number of bees. So let me just set that one right there real quick and then I'm gonna have to look at it. Now, I've got my Saracil, it's a Varroa test bottle, okay? Now, we have a scoop right here where I can scoop these bees and put them in there. I'm gonna get this frame and I'm gonna double check again just to make sure that my queen is not on here because I do not want to kill my queen. I do not see her. So what I'm gonna do here is just run this straight down. Okay. Fill that cup. It's gonna go into the alcohol. I'm gonna get this back together and then we'll look at those results on top of the lid. So basically here, you just swirl this, okay? And when you're swirling this, yes, you're going to uh, kill the bees that are in there, okay? Now there are other methods. There's, you know, a sugar shake. Um, there's other things that you can do, but this is just what I do. Um, give that a little bit twist that around. Let's see. Wow. All right. All of those little dots on there, those little dots that were underneath in there were all Varroa. So I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now 19 divided by 3 you are at 6 point, uh, six and a third percent. That is way above threshold. So, you know, right now, um, what I would do if my temps were, you know, really low is I might go to Formic Pro, okay? Um, where this is at right now, uh, you know, I'll continue with um, uh, oxalic acid, and, you know, I'll just monitor. Now, this is why it is really key to do your mite washes. The last time this was checked, we counted, I believe, five. Now, you know, it's gone up. So there could have been a very large brood hatch, or the last time I did a wash, I might not have been as accurate. So who knows, but that's why it's important. Now you see what's happened here. Now I plan on going through with my instant vape. So let's get that thing powered up and let's hit these mites with some oxalic acid. All right, so I've got the instant vape uh, powered up. It is heating up right now and uh, I'll show you where I have my plunger and, and we're gonna just do some treatment. So. See here, it's heating up. It's at 410 right now. The plunger, you basically dial this to uh, whatever you want, stick it down into your OA, and you put the plunger then in here. And let's come around the front here. All right, here we go. You hit that plunger, and it is vaporizing right now. Fourteen minutes, twenty seconds. That's not bad to do all these hives. Now, prior, I would have to um, haul, you know, an extension cord down and go through all of that. Um, I got a couple girls upset with me, but that's okay. But uh, you know, like I said, prior, I'd have to haul cords, and then you're raveling up the cords and doing all that stuff. So the instant vape, really, to go through this whole apiary and do treatments, fourteen minutes, twenty seconds, not bad. So. That, for right now, in August, that is my plan as far as my IPM. Now, I plan on hitting them with a couple more treatments. I want to cover an entire brood cycle, okay? Oxalic acid does not get underneath of the wax cappings, so all I'm doing now is treating more for the phoretic mites, those mites that are, 
you know, on bees that are going around the hive or in uncapped cells. So I wanna cover an entire brood cycle with treatments. That way I knock down as many mites as possible. So that's it for now. Hopefully this helped a little bit, you know, and just, this is like I said, just what I do in my apiary here. Um, but you know, the bees are a little grumpy. I'm hot myself. I'm gonna get out of this outfit. Um, thank you all for watching. If you can hit that thumbs up, you know, like the video and, and subscribe. I mean, it really helps out. So, but uh, you all take care and until the next one.